Hello and welcome to Treble D. This is part three of our tutorial on how to use SketchUp Free to make this cute and compact attic home. Treble D is free to download from trebled.com and is free for education purposes. In our last video we made level two. In this video we're going to fine tune our model. The first thing we're going to do is to make a quick design change and adjust our garage. This is a compact home and we only need a single garage so we're going to adjust the width. We start with the garage door and resize it with the scale tool. Type in 0.5 then we adjust the doors and the windows at the rear. We then adjust the wall using push-pull to reduce it by 12 feet or 3.6 metres. We're also going to adjust the length by bringing in the walls at the front and rear by 1 foot or 300 millimetres. In case you're wondering, we're doing this to allow for an eave at the front and rear and also to reduce the visual bulk of the building by softening the appearance of the garage. Now that we're happy with our design, we're going to combine all the level one modules into one single entity. We call this Shell Explode. We go to the Shell scene and make sure level one is enabled and level two is disabled. Then we update the scene. Now you need to save your model and also save a copy before attempting this procedure. It's very important. This is so that if you have any dramas you can return to where you started. So I'm going to save this and call it Dorma 2 after explode. It's always good to keep an eye on the entity info box during this process. We open the level one group for editing and select all the modules. The entity info box should show modules. Then we explode. Then we select everything again and explode again. Then we select everything again and explode again. This should now cause the push faces for the doors and the windows to be highlighted. Now we disable the layers, doors and windows and we, we select all, right click and choose intersect faces with contexts. Now we select all and make group and assign it to the layer shells. Now we go through each door and window and push the face through the wall. So we push the first one 3.5 inches or 90 millimeters, then just double click the rest. Now some troubleshooting advice. If you have a problem with a door or window and the push face doesn't show properly like here, it's usually caused by something going wrong with the intersect faces process and the wall has somehow become corrupted. So we just select the dodgy wall and delete it. We can see the odd bit of geometry in there. So I'll just delete that and we redraw the wall and it's all good and working properly. The next step is to clean up the excess lines with the eraser tool. If you're using SketchUp Pro or SketchUp Make, there are some excellent plugins by TomTom that do this in just a few clicks. Now some troubleshooting. It's possible in the process that you have somehow erased a wall. So it's not a big drama. We just redraw it with the line tool and the down arrow key. Now we're going to create some veranda details using components. We go to the missing out scene and select these objects and paste them into our model. We place the decking where we want it, then push pull it into place.
Now we select this veranda post and wiggle it into place. We tap control to make a copy and drag it over and tap backslash three to make an array. We then select this rafter, right click and choose make unique. And we just move it and rotate it to where we want it. Then push pull it into length. Create another array of rafters at two foot centers by copying it 36 feet and dividing by 18. We can then just copy the edge of the roof, move it down two inches or 50 millimeters, then push the unwanted part away. We're going to show an alternative method for the garage roof. First, we create an end panel. This roof will be at a 312 pitch, so we draw a horizontal line, 12 feet or 3.6 meters, then a vertical line 3 feet or 1.2 meters. Then we join the diagonal and push pull it into place to match the wall. We make it a group and assign it to the roof layer. And make a copy for the other end. Then we copy the veranda after, move it and rotate it to where we want it. Choose make unique because it's a component and we push pull it into place. So we add an 18 inch or 450 millimeter overhang. Then we make an array by dividing by 11 and we create a one foot overhang at the front and rear for the eave. And now we just make it all a group. For the garage roof, we'll use this roof module. We make a copy and drag and drop it into place. We rotate it to suit the rafter. Now this roof is 24 inches. We want it two inches. So we'll push pull it down 22 inches or 550 millimeters. And then just push pull it into place. Now we're going to explode the attic roof. So we just want to make the attic roof into one piece. So, so we only want to explode the house roof, not the veranda or the garage. So we select the roof elements and choose make group. Then we open the group for editing and select everything and choose explode. Then we'll see these push faces for the dormers appear, similar to the way that the windows work. We push the first one to suit the roof thickness, then double click the rest of them. Then we can return to our building view and just push pull the eaves out 18 inches or 450 millimeters and that's it. One thing we should do at this point is to thicken up the outside walls. This is often necessary for structural reasons or for insulation. In this case, we're going to push pull the outside walls by two inches or 50 mil. And we do the same for the attic walls. We then fine tune our roof and decks to suit. 
And that's it for now. Cheers from Treble D. Please stick with us for part four and we'll finish it all off.